I'm passionate about teaching as well, but I don't think it's any secret. Like you could ask any teacher, it's not the teaching that we have a problem with or like we love our kids. Mm -hmm. We love teaching. It's all the other stuff that we're forced to do, the paperwork, the all that stuff. Yeah. So, and I think through COVID and all the online teaching stuff that we had to go through the past two years, Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, again, it's not a secret that teachers are burned out by that. So. How was that? How was teaching online? Like for that, that, that short, when, when did that, when did that start? Like May? No, it was like March. No, it was (laughs) like we had the shutdown in March. Right. And then. I think everybody was like, oh, this is a two-week thing. We're going right back to school. Yeah. And then we ended up finishing that year totally online. And it was shock. Like, it was just, it was a lot because we were completely, we were doing something that has never been done for a lot of people. Like, Mm -hmm. if you've never taught online, you just don't know anything about it. So taking all of our resources and all the things that we've been used to or know and putting it on an online platform. I mean, it was just a lot. Like I was working nonstop. What was a typical day like? Um, I feel like it was so long ago, but it really wasn't. It wasn't. I don't know why. Maybe I have like a mental block about it. I think most of us do. Um, <laughs> probably like, I, I think we would, I would get up and, you and that was the thing like you would have to make videos of yourself teaching but if it you messed up or something like that like a lot of teachers are type a like me like you'd redo the whole thing and like upload that video on whatever platform you were using and then like whatever assignments like you would have to make it digital i don't know it was like a lot of it took a lot of hours because i think as the time went on and we got more used to using whatever we were doing up there, mm-hmm. it went by faster, but it took a lot of time. So was was lesson planning like different? <laughs> yeah, because we would have to like Zoom with our other teachers on our grade level mm-hmm. and it was more like, okay, what are we trying to teach? Okay, what do we need? I don't know. I can't describe it. It was just, I really do think I have a mental block from that period of time. (laughs) But the past year after that, it was like the kids came back, but they still wanted us to do virtual learning. For people who like chose to stay home? Right. Okay. Yes. Because that was an option last year. Okay. Which if you were at a bigger school who have, who has like seven to 10 teachers per grade level, you could say, okay, you and you are only going to be the virtual teachers. Um, And the rest of you are going to teach the face-to-face kids, Mm -hmm. and it's going to be two different things. Mm -hmm. But if you were at a smaller school where there's only two or three teachers, then all of you would have to have face-to-face kids and teach virtually because there's just not enough teachers. So So that's what I did. Just doubling your work. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm guessing that didn't come with a pay raise. Uh, when, wow. Yeah, no. Hey, hope you enjoyed that clip. Full episodes of the Small Stuff Podcast are available on YouTube and wherever it is you get your podcasts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. Links in the description. We'll see you later.